Oh no. I think my foot's gone straight through. Oh no. This is what fun looks like for today. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have my feet in lotion for 24 hours. Let's make this TikTok happen. You know what my current problem is? So the intro for this whole video, like the kind of reason for doing it is that women in 2024 want a guy under six foot with super soft feet. Now, why do I want that? Because it kind of, it's triggering enough that people would be like, whoa, hold on a minute. Because apparently women don't want a guy under six foot. And the super soft feet, where does that come from? But I want to be able to somewhat back that up. Too bad. So somewhere in here, I need my wife to make a comment about how gross my feet are. And I think the best time for that is as I'm putting this on. No, I've got it. It can be a completely different clip of me filming myself doing something else, but having my feet out and then my wife says that over the top, easy. Then it makes it seem like it's part of something else that's instigated this whole video. So we're gonna start with just putting lotion on my feet in a bag. Yeah. Do I need to explain healthy feet is with O'Keefe's? This is part of a partnership that we have set up. I've done two or well, doing two videos with them. Now, interestingly, I've already done one of the videos, but it didn't work out very well. It didn't perform very well, but that's okay because I did two other videos. I just flipping did this. I did two other videos with their product and those have done really well. So together we're over a million views. So they can't be unhappy. I have a pretty, I think I have a fairly unique view on, oh, hydration test. I need back. Whereby I think any partnership should be more of a partnership. Hello, Rugo. Are you in trouble? Hydration test. 35.5. It's a good start. Oh, it's a little bit cold. It's so thick. I think we'll give it a moment to warm up and then it will smooth around. Yeah, I have lots of friends who are creators product positioning. And when I've seen them do a post that flops, I don't ever see them doing a, what I would call like a makeup post. So we're essentially just providing a service and it's like, let's say you create a wedding video for a company and you do your best on the day, let's whatever. But when it comes time to showing that video, it's actually just crap. No one enjoys it. It doesn't evoke the emotion of that special day. Do you really just turn around and say like, well, you got what you paid for, that's it. Or do you, you adapt, you make it better, you give them exactly what they paid for. This feels nice. Moonwalk. Pew, pew, pew. I have a feeling these are gonna be hot as hell to sleep in. But man, I look good. Now I'm not saying that makes me a better person. Although I, I think I do kind of think that makes me a better person. More integrity, maybe. But I feel very strongly about that. And I think the challenge in that Honestly, I think the challenge overall that I found is being able to communicate that to someone who's willing to pay me to do something. Too many words I found, too much thinking, too many words have actually spoiled deals for me. Trying to explain everything that I can do has made me seem desperate. That's something I've really had to try and figure out. I thought I'd turn this on right now because while I'm trying to pack my bag, I'm just slipping all over the place. Oh, what's that? I need something from over there. Oh, now I need something from over here. Watch the turn. Oh, you need to go back the other way. We've got some Amazon returns to do. Let's go and do those and see how this situation works out. Do I need socks? Not yet. Well, I'm just wondering what shoes I should wear. Crocs with these on? Look at where they... Look at where they come up to. Yeah, I think, I think it has to be wellies. Brush my feet off first. Oh gosh, yes. Oh no. I think my foot's gone straight through. Oh no. I'm gonna have to double bag it with socks. So I've planned out the whole TikTok video, right? But sometimes there are things you just can't predict. Like in a good story, you want the main character to do something. And once they get started on their journey of trying to accomplish something, you have something that sets them back. Something that lets them know this isn't going to be easy. And that's where we are now. I, I'm, I'm sure my, I knew my feet would have come through this at some point. 
but I wouldn't know when, but it's pretty good that it happens at the beginning of the video because that makes for a great storyline. All right, I'll see you soon, Riggy. We'll bounce when I get back, okay? Good boy, I'll see you soon. Bye, Goobies. Bye, Judah. Take two with the wellies. It's a lot of pressure. You were right. I gotta go Crocs, they're too big. Now, I know part of you may be thinking, Oliver, going to do some Amazon returns, that's not a very interesting thing to do for a video. No, but it's actually quite relatable. Oliver, what do you mean by relatable? That sounds silly. Because I have Amazon returns to do, and it also states that I'm not in a position, what am I trying to say? Financially, I'm not in a position where Amazon returns don't make sense. And that's where the average person is. So even when making up stupid storylines, you've got to have some, in my opinion, you've got to have some relatable bits in there. Bloody hell, it's hot. Every step feels like I'm slipping. Walking today was not my best idea, but I did, oh shit. I've been waved across the road and my feet are slipping. I'm running. Well, I was trying to run. My foot has bust all the way through. I can feel four toes are coming out of this one. I wish you could feel what this feels like. It's horrible. <gasps> And my, yeah, it's cutting into my toe now. I really detest being behind someone in queue and they're not ready to do the thing. So I gotta make sure I have my code up to return. Hello. How you doing? Hi. These two items. Yes, that's it, thank you very much. Beautiful, you thanks man, have a good one. This is real life, what it looks like to be walking in these. Backwards is quite good actually. Bear in mind, it's cutting into me. Like, I need to rearrange it when you get in the car. Sliding all over the bloody place. Does it go? All right, one more drop off to do. Do not like the idea of someone rushing me across the road. I'd rather just wait. I'd wait 20 minutes for everyone to go past so that I can do it in my own time. <laughs> We're through both bags. Ugh. Feels so horrible. Why is this one so messed up? Flip them around and hope for the best. All right, while we go to this UPS store, I'm going to tell you about a problem that I have that I struggle with every single day. Boo hoo, Oliver. We're going, we're going. Woo, we made it. So I have a real inability to understand how long a task is gonna take me, which means I end up taking on far too much than I can get done in that day. And the result of that is finishing the day feeling unaccomplished. When actually I've done a whole, I've done so much. Can you get me in? Nice. Hi, how you doing? Hello. Lovely, thank you very much. You guys have a good one. I'm trying to walk out of here, looking good. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow I plan on making a video for a, another partnership. It's more like a trial actually, for Heart Tools. Now it's gonna be making a candy dispenser out of PVC pipe. Now in my head, I'm like, okay, go and get the bits you need for that today. You can just start working on, you can just do it alongside this video. That's where my problem is. So I'm not gonna start that today. That can be tomorrow. And now, we're gonna go fly an FPV drone because I just, I want to, I want to. I fixed it and I want to. Oh! Sideways croc. I'm not trying to be dramatic. It's just my foot is sliding with every step. Oh, yeah, oh, here we go. So flying an FPV drone like this, where everything this drone sees, you see in a pair of goggles. I've got some friends that are just unreal at flying this. I also realize that I'll never be as good as them, but I have realized that I want to be good enough that I can fly it without crashing every single time. So we're working on the journey. So my first drone was the DJI Mavic Pro, the first one. And from what I understand on social media, I was the first person in England to have it. Not that that really means anything at all, other than I'm just like a freaking cool dude. Do you up, turn everything on. Now it's pretty windy, so I'm not feeling particularly ambitious, but I am feeling excited. Almost crashed. Don't trust myself, I am going far too fast for my own ability. But I think I did pretty well out of that. I remember taking a lunch break from work. This was when I had to leave the country and I had to go and live back home for about six months, four or five months. And there was the release and I was, right before that I was, well, I was daily vlogging at the time and I really wanted a drone. And of course I was looking at the Phantom 3 at the time 
But I kept holding off because I was like, this is way too big. It doesn't suit, like this is not gonna fit into my life, which was cycling to work every day and that kind of run and gun style. So when I heard about this foldable drone that was coming out, I took my lunch break to Starbucks and I went and watched the release. Ordered it as soon as the release started. Oh my gosh, we almost went. Oh no. I had like full concentration going into that. I think there's a pretty good storyline behind flying FPV, which is if you don't feel good going into something, you should stop, collect yourself and try again. Because in FPV, if you go in wrong, we're on low battery. If you go in not confident with what you're about to do, you're more than likely gonna crash. And when you're doing this, any crash normally ends with destroying it. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's that. I should set up an obstacle course, shouldn't I? That whole time I forgot about my feet. But let's go back, because I wanna play with a little man on the bouncy house for a bit. And the little man is not my wife. <laughs> the wife and kids are out. And Ryan Trahan released his candy yesterday called Joyride, in, or the other day, into Target. They don't have it. I've just come in and heard the washing machine stop, the beep for it. And I will say, I do like to be a good husband. This is my house too. And while my wife have shared responsibilities, one of them, one of hers being laundry, it doesn't mean that I can't help out. Oh, I completely forgot. Hi Judah, what are you up to good girl? Oh yeah. Let's put you over the vent. Nice. Plastic zippers from the bag are cutting into my heels. Not my heels, my Achilles. Oh! I just heard Shay pull in, so let's get the bouncy house up. Oh gosh, I've got to help with the shopping first, actually. No, let's get this started first, actually. Oliver, what is wrong with your brain? What did mum get you? What have you got, dude? Is it a sprinkler? All right, let's help mummy get some, bring the things in. Oh, is that for you? All right, we're gonna switch out the bouncy house for the sprinkler. Okay, the clips on these bags are really cutting into me. I might have to take them off. That's also a good part for the TikTok. Like some things that go wrong that are unexpected. I just feel like my feet are so hot and sweaty. This one's fine. Let me tell you something. A large part of what I do is planning based and editing based. So I've got some TikToks that I've made up. I went to post them last week, but they just completely flopped. There are these times that TikTok goes through, here's how I understand it. Every couple of months, like three, four months, that's not a couple, is it? TikTok goes through these troughs, troughs, <laughs> where whatever you post, nothing does well because it just doesn't hit the right audience. The way I see that is it's an update in the algorithm on TikTok's end, and you just have to allow them time to fix it, update it, see whatever's broken. So I'm gonna check over some of those videos now and get them posted. This feet thing, it's miserable. Overly sure how this doff happened with the socks on. One of the bags has come down. Oh, hello. Okay, we're gonna take that off, that one off, flip this around. Now we're not poking out the top. It is actually the perfect night. So while we're doing these flipping the feet in lotion for 24 hours, the new outdoor furniture arrives on my side. Let's, let's do that tonight. Perfect. <laughs> and uh, the little man has just fallen in the pool and gotten me. I was standing about here, so I'm my socks are wet. Honestly, I've done a horrendous job of explaining what anything, like what the problem was. I've been having to come down the stairs every time. Deck looks vile. And now I'm down here rearranging this to go down here. Oh, just spent a bit of a spell going downhill with the little man and my foot is just punctured straight through. One's gone all the way through, the other one 
two of the toes are through, one of them's crooked. Oh, oh closer, try again. Dude, oh nice job. So this part is bag. This is all just sock. This one, the bag is now in here. It is horrible. Going for a walk was not a good idea. Look at the state of this. Oh, he's just farted. Tooted, sorry, tooted. He's got clean socks today.